Oh my gosh, I think I hit the mother load. Somebody really loved their game, so we got a lot of video games coming out of this. If you buy stores, you know, you know why I'm excited, because this is money here. Ooh. I'm quite sure there's over 500 bucks. That to me, it definitely adds 500 to the mix. The chores are up there. Here it is here. We are very exciting to announce. We are about to go pick up our trailer. We are moments away. We are about to go pick up a monster. We went big. We're spending $17,000 cash money right now on a brand new trailer. Is that it way in the distance? Is that her waiting? Look at her guys. Pirates, we're in this unit right here. I did not buy it. This man bought it. What's going on, guys? What's your name? Nathan. Nathan, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Hollister. Do you actually watch my channel? I love your channel. That's channel. awesome. Uh, you I buy storage I units? I buy storage units. I sell the market. What made you buy this one? Uh, it's just a big old pile of stuff. Um, it's all books. It looks like a big jump run, but you can see there's some good stuff falling out. You paid um, 80, right? We paid $80 for this one. And just right here on the, on the front, we see these real nice, old, sweet little photos from the early... 1900s. Very nice. All kinds of really cool stuff here. There's three binders here. Good luck, look. Three binders here. And we're just seeing these old 1920s photos here. Like real nice ephemera. Yes, ephemera. 1920s. Look at that. That's neat. This is really cool. What caught my interest is it says Shaw, and one of the units I bought a year ago, I'm just intrigued if it has anything to do with that family. Oh. I don't know why. I just. Is fine by the person. And I'm giving him 200 for all these. We came to an agreement. I offered him a little uh, a package deal. He took the deal. And I'm buying some ephemera. Yeah, this, these are really nice right here. They're different. I always like looking at the old photos because it's crazy how strange people look back then. <laughs> their eyes are always crooked and their miserable smiles. Yeah, and... sure. All right, awesome. Yeah, for sure. And we got a lot of stuff to go through. So we got records and we got some Do you make videos? Books and uh, I do not make videos. I think the world will be interested to see what the heck <laughs> else is in this unit. I would love to. Awesome. Well, here's your 200. Okay. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you. And what's your name again? Nathan. All right. Awesome. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, we just bought this unit right here for 1150 bucks. Reasons I bought it. I like this. It does look a little trivial. It does look cheaper made, but I like the style. And then I noticed in here was this. That's another thing that led me to this. Okay, I like that. And right away, I see the brown box down there. That could be good. I like that case. I like the swap box. It's obviously a Tosh unit. You see the U.S. Army on the Elvis. This right here, we'll get to in a minute. I just bought that, or you might have seen this already. I'm uncertain where that will come the scene but i bought that off another buyer here elvis 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 someone's been here collectible cards <laughs> wow okay all right oh okay some of these could be big value i don't know i'll have to look into those Okay, what else do we got here? It looks like games under here. We got a lot to look at in here. Who a jewelry box. A jewelry box. I see it right there. That's a jewelry box. These got a lot of attention. I don't know what's in there. Kitchen. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. I think I hit the mother load. That was a Nintendo games. We're gonna come back tomorrow and pick this up, but I might have to grab like the games and that. The naked eye, this might seem like a tossed unit, but I had a little feeling. I think there was something in here. I just follow my gut, but I'm seeing a lot of things. A box, look, ooh. Okay, Schwinn. We got dresser drawers. The game of life. So much to see in here, actually, to be honest with you. I'm actually kind of digging this. I thought that was military. It's not, so it could have been a wrong premonition. We got back here a dresser. Oh. Okay. What do we got here? All right, so. Lethal ladder. Okay. All right, this is the whole WCW Raw is War cage ring, and there's a lot more parts to that. So that goes with the wrestlers in that box. I bet you there's a couple hundred bucks in this set right here. That's my guess. NEO Games Guitar. Oh, yeah. I think we just looked this a second ago. I want to get this video game box and I want to get this card box to go home. 
Okay, controllers. And that is not big money, but that one's cool. It's 15, that's another N64. Actually, that is 30, 40 bucks there. But look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're gonna take these home for sure. And we're gonna take the gander at that. And then what, oh yes, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Is there more games somewhere? Nice. This is gonna come home to the garage and we'll wrap this up at the end. My goal right now is to mainly sort everything, film it within an hour, and then load it all by myself within an hour, two hours. That's my goal here. First things first, so when we're going to Alameda coming up in the next week, automatically off the bat, you want to take things that might have great value and you want to set them aside for Alameda. This is kind of cool. It's a clay pot. It's got the little cup here and it's got no marking, but very cool. I'm, that right there in itself is an Alameda item. Come down here, you got some Princess House. Like We don't find that enough. Ooh, it's empty. All right, so we'll leave that for the trash. What do we got here? Ooh. Oh, yes. So we're gonna start a video game pile because we got all the video games. So we're just gonna put the video game systems, everything in their own tote. That is a Super Nintendo. That is a few dollars there. And then we have some basic flea market stuff here. Some electric cars and Nyko. And what is this? This looks basic, but it's also kind of cool. It's a Ford GT by Nyko. Wow, I kind of like that one. That's cool. That's an, a couple dollar box right there. I will not be upset with those. In this box is some Hot Wheels, some Micro Machines, it looks like. All right, looks like stuff just for the drawers. We don't want to put that in there. What do we have here? Enrique. All right, so this is a video game item. That's kind of cool. I and next, it looks like it goes to a newer version of that system, to be honest with you. Come on, original Transformer in the box. Uh, never played with. Nope, it is some type of Christmas village. All right, I can't open that up safely. It looks like it's all falling out, so there's nothing we can do about that. Crafting, we got all sorts of cool little crafting things. This is the whole box of crafting. Nothing extremely valuable or like just basic stuff, you know, like, okay. We got that and we got balls and we got pipe cleaners and we got little paint pots and stuff, okay. Sanrio Character Town. Look at that. Hello Kitty. Pogs. Field card game. Marine World, Marine World Africa USA. Okay. These are kind of cool. Pogs are always nice. We'll see what else we got in here. Oh. This a uh, yep, Tony Hawk Pro Skater type thing. That looks like a good $10 in toys. I think see so far we're what? We're 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 up to uh I'm going to try to keep a tally of what we've got here so far. we got a $100 plus box of DVDs. we got a $30 box that doesn't have any system parts to it so far. We've got $10 in trains, $30 in cars, and a pot. So we're, we're doing all right. Let's keep it going. Let's try to keep a tally. I'm going to try to keep it going, tell you everything I think of value. And that has not much value. It's like two bucks. Those are another two bucks. No change. That is a bear bank. Right. Do we have them them nauticas? All right. Let's keep it going. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm digging that. Star Wars action fleet. Oh, it's a micro machine base. Who don't like Star Wars? That is a couple bucks. We're putting toys aside. We're putting everything aside that has different meanings or relevance. I have different places I sell things, so just all... Ooh, yes, Star Wars. So what we'll do is we're going to be keeping a Star Wars tote. Looking like we're already up to another good 20 bucks there in Star Wars stuff. That's how I feel about that. Okay. Okay. More toys. We've got... Oh, okay. I like that S Yu-Gi-Oh or Dragon Ball Z or something. One of them animes. Another anime. Okay. It's looking like figures. I don't know what these go to. I got a guy for this stuff. Look at that Batman. We got a Ninja Turtle. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We got marbles. Looks like we got a lot of cool stuff to set aside. I don't know what to do with it all yet what's got stream value look there's wolverine who doesn't remember this right here what do we have here do we have pokemon marbles okay that just got interesting i don't know nothing about that i don't know nothing about pokemon marbles i used to see this drive by my school all the time back in the day 
I haven't seen it in a while, but that is a, that's probably a good $40, $40 box there minimum. Good $40 box. Now let's see what's under us here. Hot Wheels. No. You got to spin them around, so we're going to try to leave those in there then. I don't see red lines, but I see cool cars. What else do we got here? That's the Hot Wheel I just had. We have Legos, but nothing extravagant. That's just basic Legos. And then we have, what do we have here? Okay, we got Brits boards. Oh, we got a Pokemon board. Snowboard, okay. And then we have this, what looks like some type of Star Wars mobile, but I don't know. That's kind of cool. I'm digging that. We're already up to a good, close to 100 bucks in toys here. Nice little five ten dollar item there, and oh bummer paperwork. That's what made me want to buy the unit. Okay, not tactical gear. Looks like a hookah. I don't know nothing about hookahing. Not my style. Looks like we got a PlayStation Two. Okay, somebody really loved their game, so we got a lot of video games coming out of this. Ozzy Osbourne, Lenny Kravitz, the Gorillas. Let's see, are they in here? Yes, they are. Ooh, come on, baby. No. Christmas. The Bee Gees. Yep, they're in there. Santana. Abba, okay. Mm, okay, some micro machine cars. What else? What else? What else? You gotta look everywhere in a unit like this. Okay. Wrestling action assortment. Those are kind of cool. Oh, what are these? And what do you do with them? Active. They've got a USB. I don't know. We'll put those aside because those definitely do look cool. Uh, looks like we have another pair here. No. Yes, we do. Xbox 360 Okay, all right We have an Xbox 360 charger so that will go over here. Oh, no, that might be an Xbox one Okay, it's actually kind of a gone through unit. I knew it was but I, I've, I see my profit bag and stuff couple dressers Christmas ornaments a lot of wrestling toy That's like a hundred dollar ornament set actually but it looks like those two tote and maybe that one are Christmas and Halloween And it's a lot of junk, but I hit I hit it on the video games the Pokemon and there's some there's some other stuff in here We did not bring our knife. I just want to look in this one box seems like a something like a video game or a toy is what the box is but after the box I just found, we don't have a knife, so we're using what we have to. I was hoping for NES games, but that is what it is. We have some movies. Looks like, yep, movies. Cool DVDs. All right. We'll be back tomorrow to pick this whole unit up and ransack it. I'm going to bring these couple pieces home, and we're going to finish this up here at the end of this video. And then we will have that as a wrap. Pirates, we are back in my casa. Bright light. Shady. Or, uh messing up the clarity here we got this right here this i'm excited to look in here we have the pokemon box and we're gonna go through that ephemera let's just get right to the video games because that's the most exciting to me and i need to know oh, okay a macro lens wonder what that goes to all right we got toilet paper we got mm, nothing is this no okay what kind of bear are darken all right, we glanced in this yesterday. I didn't see much in here, but let's see what we got. We got another pair of these True Depth 3D. I do not know what those go to. Maybe they're for Xbox or something. I don't know. Okay. And then there's one more pair. That is so unique. Anyway, we'll have to look at that up and see what we could find. The WCW wrestling ring that is actually a few bucks there you add that with the box I'll show you shortly as well It's probably two hundred dollars for actually wouldn't go right to it. It was right here Let's take a little in more in-depth look into this box because I saw this yesterday And I was like that's gonna be cool. Look at all these wrestlers. I don't know who they are. Who is that? Uh, is that uh, is that uh? Sexual chocolate whatever his name is Racho man uh, Undertaker Ken Shamrock never liked him didn't like this version of Hogan. Goldberg was a savage. That's the man right there. 
That's the man right there. Who's... I can't lift my eyebrow. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> I love The Rock. He's one of my idols, to be honest with you. Love his story. Um, love his drive. Be the hardest working man in the room. There he is there, the Rama Bull. Mr. McMahon. He was actually pretty yoked. Got a bunch of them. I think there's a few bucks here. I don't see any really old ones. We got Mankind. That's kind of cool. And then we have this whole thing for the ring, etc., etc. Look, the little Royal Rumble guys. This two boxes, to me, equivalates about 200 bucks. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have Kirby parts. Those are kind of cool. For the Kirby, who remembers when you could build a house out of those? That was a thing they used to do back in the day. And it looks like we have video game stuff. We have an Xbox One. We have an N64. Who doesn't love N64? Comment below if N64 is the business. We have a controller. We have a cord. What could be in here? Probably a car magazine. No, let me see. Oh, yes, we have games. We have Ridge Racer. We have Soul Blade. We have Battle Shield Arena Ten Shoden. We have Odd World. We have Rayman. Hey, Rayman. PlayStation Picks, PlayStation Magazine, Namakosiomian, and Final Fantasy Tactics. I think we needed that game yesterday. Let's see what else we have in here. Any trinkets, any tidbits of illusion? Oh, Gorillas, The Heptone, Snoop Dogg, Halloween Rocks. Yep, we got that in there. We've got some cool CDs. I'm gonna keep putting the CDs aside because that's what I do. We got more here, look. Everywhere you look is CDs. Home Alone. We've got that there. And we found something for the little ones. Uh, the girls love stickers. Michaela does too, but they all have different style of stickers. These are cool for the little ones. Some of the stickers I find too, too sometimes are not good for my little ones. Millennium Opley, the game that took a uh, thousand years to create. Great, all right, we got that one covered. What else do we got in here? Here we have your basic little things with some makeup, okay. Home decor shelf stuff. And then, what's in here? Please be, please be the money. Just little kitchen decor. It's always fun, a couple bucks a piece here. This is looking like a $10. $10 box, believe it or not. I'll make $10 out of that. What do we got here? Ooh, wicked picture stuff, huh? Hey. Carrying on. We have what looks like. This is what we've been waiting to get to because the little woman is Halloween happy right now. So, what do we get her? Oh. Okay. I could see this individuality i love that storage auction pilot stands for that have courage and follow your own path that is everything i think that is a lost art in this world especially with a lot of things i've learned on youtube is people are scared to be themselves scared to have their own path they want to be what others are or better than that and the fact is be yourself Elvis Presley, U.S. Army. That is a $10 piece there. That was what made me want the unit because I thought, okay, a military picture, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But so far, we haven't been military in depth. We got a cool Native American style. I emphasize the word style. Um, maybe Arizona style, but that's five, 10 bucks. We got the Hulk, limited edition of 2000. I'm going to keep that because that is kind of cool. Well, at least set it aside. We got Magic University storage trunk. We got comics, no, okay. Oh, yeah, joy. So, scratch this one. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's see what we have here. Okay, what are these? Why aren't we collecting cake molds? We've got Mickey, that one, and Olaf, these are kind of cool. I think I saw some more of those. I wonder what we should keep those. Maybe I'm gonna text the little woman now. This is straight arts and crafts. There's nothing to see in that box. Hmm, okay. I wonder what these are worth. I'm gonna look these up because I've never found those. At we'll least set those aside. South Park. What else is under here? Any hidden gems? No, I have no idea on the value of that, but I would have to speculate at least 10 or 20 bucks because they are South Park. 
All right, let's get right to this first drawer right here. Let's just get right into the top here. Let's see what we got. We got PlayStation Underground. Let the games play, okay. We got PlayStation Underground. I don't know nothing about that. Three in LA. Let's see, let's take a look at one of these are. Next scanner, okay. Huh. All right, so there's some games inside. These sound, seem like they're probably collector's items. Final Fantasy Tactics right there. That's a good one. Is the game in there? Oh. Ooh, we're back at it. Crash Bandicoot. That's a good one. We have Volume 1, Jam Pack 12. We have Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash is back. Okay, I don't know about what those undergrounds are for. They seem like promotional things, but I'll have to look in there. Slide in disc and fill the real thing playable demos. Okay, so they're little demo things. Well, that's still cool because you're getting a chance to play. I remember when stuff like that came out, it was like the coolest thing to get a chance to just see what the games are going to be like versus whether or not you're going to actually want to own them and play them. And right here, we got another sampler and another sampler, Blasto. Battle Arena, Tone Shida, and this one looks like a good one. Please be in here. Please be in here. Please be in here. Yes. Nope. Jumping Flash, too. All right. Not mad. We're going to come in here, and we have this right here. Exclusives. Another underground PlayStation 2. There is, oh, there we go. What do we got? Ooh, empty and disc one. All right, so those are gonna be interesting. Here we have another underground. Here we have a Tony Hawk Pro Skater. This game right here was a legend. I, ah, but it's right here, no. PlayStation 2, issue 66. We got Sea Rock. That could be a good one. We've got Enakati Warrior Empty Bummer Raymond Rush That's in there And we got Wild Arms Who doesn't like Wild Arms One empty One in So that's it on the PlayStation games Carrying on here Now we're going to get into the Game Boy Advance it Looks like books Because these are actually money And I have a chance of finding these in there There's a lot in that unit So let's go through just these books here Believe it or not these are worth money, and they might even be worth listing them by themselves. We're going to find out. We got Gallery 2, Doc Upon. Comment every time. Say, put a heart emoji every time you find a game you love to play. For Game Boy Advance, we're going to do hearts. Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 4, Wario Land, Battle Arena. That was cool. Game Boy Color. Oh, I loved this one. Game Boy Advanced. Game Boy. Game Boy. What do we got here? This is the instruction booklet. Instruct Donkey Kong. I'm, I'm gonna imagine some of these are worth anywhere from two to like 10 bucks a piece. That's what I'd spec. I haven't looked one of them up. I'm just telling you if I had to guess without looking and wondering if I'm gonna uh, make any type of profit before researching in front of somebody. We have Mario Pinball 2, I Spy Challenge, Crash Bandicoot, Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country. These are all great ones too, Spyro. Wario, Sonic, Pac-Man, Super Mario 3, Iron Man, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advanced right there. Look at that, Wario Land. What do we have here? What are these? Are these trickeries? Yep. Kirby's and Columns. Okay, so that is our Nintendo games. And then what do we have next here? Let's see here. Or right, those were our Game Boy games. I don't know. Ooh. What are these for? Oh, wow. Can we find these games? Look at this. Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64. We're going to put them by Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64. Ooh, Yoshi Mario World. Nintendo 64. Super Nintendo. Acro Aerobat. Super Nintendo. Hope we find one of those. Game Genie. Yoshi. Donkey Kong Country 3. Yoshi's Story, and a couple more pieces right there. We have that. This, this I think, is even better money than the last booklets, too, by the way. So that's a good game. Oh, yeah. Let's put um, let's put barrel emojis. Why? Because of this right there. So if you like the uh, Super Nintendo games, and which ones you hit the a barrel emoji. Super Nintendo, Super N64. Oh, yeah, Star Fox. I remember that one. Super Mario 64. Oh, Kobe Bryant. Yes. Super Smash Brothers. Yes. 
liked that. Oh, here's a good one. That's probably popular right now. Donkey Kong 64. Double barrel emoji. This is one of the coolest games ever. Diddy Kong Racing. Ken Griffey Jr. We got Super Mario Kart. We got Super Mario World. Who didn't like Mario Paint? It was kind of boring, but you still played it. It was fun. Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, yes. This is great. What else do we got coming in here? Looks like we got a lot more things, and I'm just excited to go through it. We got a Pokemon Tanner's Guide. We got a Super Nintendo Turtles in Time. We got a PlayStation. We got some N64 pieces. And then what do we get in here? We got we got Transformers comics. Terminator 2. Tomb Raider right here. That's a PlayStation. We got another Transformer comic. And we got um, games for PSM DVD. I don't know about that one. What do we got? A demo disc. Naruto demo disc. Yes, these are in here too. We got demo discs. Demo discs. Then we got Xbox starter kit. Oh, joy. We're, get, we're mixing it up here. It looks like we got Xbox. So let's see here. Xbox. Oh, yes. This is interesting. Why do they have numbers on them? Does anybody, can anybody tell me that? Naruto, Tomb Raider, The Hitman. Driver Challenge, Blood Wake, Time Splitters. Let's do uh, a silver medal, a trophy silver medal or silver medal for second place because I don't like Xbox as much as I do Nintendo or PlayStation. So we're going to put that emoji. If these are your games, comment one. Every time you see one, put one of those in the chat. Never was a big fan of Xbox. What do you guys think? I know there's a lot of people in here. Let's comment too. Also tell everybody what it is you like to play because a lot of people, I think these are just missed. Okay, there's a uh, thing. A lot of people are one or the other, you know? So I like to hear what people like. Let's hear in the chat here. Mortal Kombat, Doom, Jade Empire. Okay, Mercenaries, Conquer, Dead or Alive, Mace Griffin. Look at that. Okay, Final Fantasy. All right, we got a bunch of those. Ooh, we're almost done with this top drawer. We got M&M's, PlayStation 2. We got this Backstage Assault. We got Atari Anniversary Edition. These feel like the games are in there, so let's check. I can I can tell that they're in there. Yep, okay. We got Race Inside, another Underground. We got Warzone, this is a great one, yep. And we got Gran Turismo, who has not played this game. It's in here, yep, there we go. And then that's about it. These are a couple more CDs here. And that is it for all of these games. Now we're gonna get into the next drawer. And that's, if you buy store genies, you know why I'm excited, because this is money here. A Game Genie, that is money by Galoo. Okay. What is in here? Nothing. Here we have Donkey Kong Country. That is a very cool game. Here we have Kirby's Dreamland 3. So now, first off, these are in pretty good shape. What you do when you get these is you go down to like the dollar store and you get a magic eraser. And that will take that right off like new. Buster's Bust Loose. Arrow Acrobat. That looks like a good one. Star Fox. There we go. I think we have the book for that so we can start completing things. We have F-Zero. We have... Wow, unmarked. This is possibly good. We have Super Mario RPG 11 of the Seven, Legend of the Seven Stars. I'm going to have to take a look at that one. Super Mario World, we got the book for that, and that's always an easy seller. And we have Turtles in Time. That is a good one. Okay, let's keep it going. We have Judgment Clay. We have Super Mario Kart. That is right there. It's just classic, okay? Yoshi's Island. Good one. And we have Mario Paint, all right? So we have the games I think he didn't like to play as much. We're, we're, hopefully we find some more here coming out because I, I feel like we could be finding all of these. Pac-Man 2 and Donkey Kong Country 2. That's a good little pile. I think there's a few hundred dollars there, in my opinion. And then you have the Super Game Boy, which is that for that. So I like that. And then the memory card. Now, carrying on, what do we have here? More cases, okay? We have a screen protector. We have the Mad Cats, okay? Ooh, Super Mario All-Stars. 
Now we're gonna get into the N64 games. Come on guys, if you're excited right now, let me know in the comment section you're excited for what you're about to see because I think there might be some money here. These could be very valuable games. The, the, the older the cartridges get, the better. Uh, NES is the best, I think. N64 is pretty good. GameCube's pretty good. Ooh, that might be a good one. Bonzo, Kazuo, and Pokemon Stadium. Oh my. Number two, and it's gold edition. I think that's a good one. We have uh, Nanko Museum 64. We have Forsaken 64, which I think that might be a good one there as well. We have Ken Griffey Jr. Sluggers. That is cool. Love Ken Griffey Jr. We have South Park Chef's Love Shack. NBA Courtside with Kobe Bryant. We have Yoshi Story. We have Super Smash Brothers. I think that's a good one too. I used to like that game. And then last is but not least this, we have the yellow version of N64 Donkey Kong, Mario Party 3, and we have Mario Party. That right there, I'm, I'm quite sure there's over 500 bucks in booklets. Not to mention we have the Spider-Man N64 controller. That bad boy is tight right there. We have the Super Pad right here. We have the Pelican pad, and we have the Gamester Xbox Live pad, and we have these Wii controllers. So that right there is not a whole lot extra, but that to me definitely adds 500 to the mix. Then we have this here. Okay, let's see what I see right off the bat. A light, a light Amaral from 19, 2000. A Glowith, and it looks like we have double backing, so. And we have this, we have just one card, yeah. Okay, then we have Machop and Volpix and Slugma. And we have what looks like 1999 here too. Digimon, Bandai, what is that? Mm, what are these cards right here? Are those Pokemon? Yeah, I think they are, I don't freaking know. There's a lot of cards in here, I have no idea what they are. But I know Charizard's... Oh, that's a Charizard there. What is that one? Okay, stage 306 Charizard. Interesting. I wonder if that's valuable. Let's be careful with that. And is this a Charizard too? Dragonite. Okay, that's interesting. I'm curious about those. Okay. Looking like just a lot of decent cards. I don't see anything that screams, oh, you have to run out and get this graded. I want to be careful with that, but they're pinching up here. Come on. Okay. A Pikachu. Right here. That one's kind of cool. We're going to get on into the other books now. Now that we've got that out the way. Ooh. Michael, this is not your day for setting things down. Here we have... Ooh, somebody's already been up in here. Imperial Dramon Carnage. Um, okay. Looks like we have some comic cards. I'm gonna have to look into these. The Mandarin Gold Foil Signature Series. Okay, Beast, Daredevil. I don't know nothing about these, so I'm gonna have to look them up. If you happen to know anything, hook, hook a fire it up. Metal Universe, Sunfire, Kingpin. They're all like stuck together every page. Mario. Donkey Kong, we got an unknown. I don't know about that one. That's interesting. Another Monchoke. And some Star Trek cards. All right, very weird. What do we have here? Super Nintendo, ooh. Street Fighter. Fox McCloud. Sindel, Falco. Looks like a lot of video game cards, which I have not seen these before. Mario Kart 64. Okay. 1992 Holiday Gram Editions. Chris Mullen Rookie. You could tell they sat for a while in the heat because they don't want to just separate. Come on, Michael Jordan. That's kind of a cool card. Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. What else we got here? Kima Lajuan. Not in my house, and that set of stickers. And then we have this night, which somebody has already opened. 
but we're not going to let that get us down. Look at that. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon trading deck. Where's your good cards? Can we see them? Uh, there's all over the map right here. A little bit of football, some grease, some Digimon, and then it looks like it gets into some magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! Castle walls, destruction. Okay. Some more. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pale Beast. I have one. I have Dark Magician Girl um, in Beckett right now. We've been waiting forever for them to come back and give us our cards. So There's some cool cards here. Shut your trap hole. Just kidding. Blue White. Blue Eyes White Dragon is all right. You want Shining Dragon. You want Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. A lot of hope, though, because now I feel like there's something in that unit that it was overlooked. That's what I feel like. Unknown again. Trainer. Amoeba. Um, a lot of older style. What is this? 1973. So we have to look for the Robin Yunt rookie now. Is that where we're at? Are we looking for a Robin Yunt rookie? Mickey Colick. Dave Kingman. Randy Jones, okay, Bill Russell. Most of these cards, I'll probably just do this whole box right here in an auction on YouTube. If you guys know I do auctions on YouTube, I'll go through all these cards a little more thorough during an auction time frame. All right, real quick, I just managed to pull these ones out of there. And um, when I was glancing or setting them in order to show you real quick, I didn't notice anything that screams out to me. It looks like a lot of energy cards. You can see some, there are a lot of 2000s. I don't see a lot of 99s, and I think that makes a big difference. That's a coping, but that is C2000, all right? So yeah, we got a lot of these cards. They're pretty cool, energies. I will be selling these on my auction. Digimon, I don't even know much about that, so I really gotta take my time and look those up. 1999 Bandai. Some, this is cool though, I'm very happy with this because I think this, everything that I've showed you here, far exceeds what I paid for the unit. This is kinda cool, I'm very happy with this. We are going back tomorrow, we are gonna pick up the rest of this unit. I'm gonna rifle the box, I'm gonna make a video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, oh yeah, I think the little woman will be with me tomorrow, so. Stay tuned for that too. I love y'all.